Welcome to another episode of Professional Scrum with Jira. I'm professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. This gentleman next to me is professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. We are professional scrum trainers with scrum.org, the home of scrum. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about how to use Jira software after this, head on over to Atlassian University at training.atlassian.com. There you'll find tons of self-paced training resources to help you become an expert at Jira software. All right, Todd, today we have a, a fascinating topic, product backlog refinement. I want to make sure we define this before we get too deep. So refinement, what it actually means is what we're trying to do here from a professional scrum stance, we're going to plan the product backlog to an actionable level of detail, right? We're trying to add understanding, transparency to the product backlog. So we're going to add detail. We're going to break up product backlog items. We're going to order the product backlog by some form of value. It's also maintaining a rolling projection of actionable work. Overall, it's helping the entire Scrum team get a whole understanding of what we could possibly do next. These top ordered product backlog items, they're well understood. They're easily selected in sprint planning. They are considered ready, right? And we do that by starting from a vague standpoint with a, with a product backlog item, with an epic perhaps. And as we do refinement, it becomes more known. And after a little more refinement, it becomes understood. Then ultimately we get this product backlog item sized estimated, understood, the acceptance criteria added, it gets to ready, and then that could p potentially be pulled into a sprint, right? So what Todd's going to show us is how all of this could potentially work uh, using Jira. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. So what we have here is, uh, you know, the developers are actively working on this sprint. You can see here, this is Agile for Human Sprint number 11. And uh, we're looking down here at the product backlog. Developers get together, the product owner might be there, the scrum master, the whole scrum team could be there to have this conversation about adding more detail or estimating or decomposing or talking about the future, right? We're taking a step out of the sprint backlog and we're talking about the future of the work. We look at this top ordered item commitments under the Epic artifacts. And we say, uh, you know, we start talking about this as a team saying, you know, when I, uh, the little bit of a description that we have here and uh, developers start asking questions, the product owner actually says, you know what, I can give you a little bit more detail on that. Um, what, what, I, what I think that we should do here is uh, we should specifically talk about the three commitments in Scrum Guide 2020. One is the product goal, one is a sprint goal, and another is a definition of done. And then the developers start to ask questions to the product owner and say, you know what? Um, it may make more sense for us to do these three things first, the actual artifacts, right? Might make, make, make more sense. So we're gonna reorder this one down here. And so, you know, as Ryan mentioned, a couple things you could do, add details, estimates, decompose, talk about the future, right? Um, Scrum Guide states that this should, uh, it's recommended that this doesn't take 10% of a de developer's time, 10% or less of a developer's time. You can see here, we added a little bit of detail. We did a little bit of reordering and uh, we're off to uh, continue working on our sprint, Ryan. Yeah, I like it, Todd. This is, uh, I think, a great overview of how Jira can help uh, a team really facilitate a great product backlog refinement session. It can get them ready for upcoming sprints. Uh, we can really leverage the power of this tool to, to get us in a great position to where we could have potentially ready work that we could pull into a sprint and execute well on. And so I think that's just a great, uh, great kind of look and overview of how Jira can really help us with that. Yeah, talking about the future of the work, right? And a uh, nice visual representation here to engage in those conversations. Yeah, and so remember, as we're using Jira to, to do product backlog refinement, we're creating whole team understanding, we're breaking down our work, we're providing estimates, we're reordering, we're gathering all that great detail that we need to successfully deliver an increment and delight our customers. All right, so if you'd like to learn more, again, we'd like to invite you to check out Atlassian University, training.atlassian.com. And we hope you go over there and check out all the great training videos and content that they have for you. Uh, for Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. This has been another episode of Professional Scrum with Jira, and we will see you next time. Thank you.